Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on Tabby's journey through Baldur's Gate 3. In my last episode we took on Gortash and we killed him. Karlak had a little bit of a breakdown because of it. Hopefully today she might be feeling a bit better. But that is the last of the three kind of nether stones that we need to deal with the brain. The Emperor did tell us that when we go to the next stage, we possibly will not be able to come back. So for us to um, kind of clear up everything we need to know. So that's what we're going to do. And the first thing we're going to try to do is find the rest of Dribbles. So, as always, I won't delay any further. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so here we are. We are back at camp. We're going to jump straight back out again. I may have had to look up on Google where to find the rest of Dribbles. I think we are very, very close. I can't remember if I have his leg or not. Oh, I did forget as well. Actually, we have to go around and just try to pick up. Um, right, let's go to back to camp, actually. Because now we're going to have to see if Carlac will come back out with us again. Hopefully she's feeling better today. If not, that is fine. Yeah, she wants to talk to us, so that's good. Let's see how she's doing. And if she wants us to bring someone else out for the day, we can. That will be no problem. Hey, soldier. You're back. Still soldier after everything we've been through, huh? I've been worried about you. Are you all right? Sorted yourself out, I hope. Let's go with two. Yeah. Despite my best efforts. I kept trying to flop over and give up, but Carla just won't let me. Did I miss anything important? I love Carla. Villains rose here as fell and the apocalypse drew nearer. We'll talk about that later. More concerned about you. Is this like acting as if um she hadn't been there first? Uh, nothing important. Let's go with one. Mm, nothing out of the ordinary then. You know, soldier, we're so fucked. The Dark Three are trying to consume the Sword Coast. We've still got tadpoles in our eyes and I've got a ticking time bomb in my chest. I'm not sure anyone has ever been more fucked than this. And yet, we're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am, there you are, breathing, talking, even laughing if we want. Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm happy? Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do if anything happens to her. And I know I know we're going to end up losing some of them. I just feel it in my heart that, you know, because that's how this game is going to draw you in. Things are going to happen. Things you don't want to happen. Oh, this game is so real. It's a night. If you're happy, I'm happy. Very precious indeed. This is all well and good, but I can't pretend there isn't a solution here. You could go back to Avernus to live. I'm going to go. If you're happy, I'm happy. In that case, there's something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me? When it's time for me to go. I think I can do anything if you're there. Even die. Oh, Christ. Of course I'll be there, Carlac. Whatever you want. We're going to find you a cure before it comes to that. I just know it. I'm not sure I can. It'll be too hard. Oh, I'm going to go with Tree. I don't know if she's going to like it. All right. But if we don't, I hope I can count on you. You haven't let me down yet. And it'd be a poor showing to start now. Now, enough tragedy. I'm not gone yet. And our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry anymore, I'm going to run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. Thanks for everything, soldier. I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. I love you, Carlac. <laughs> I love you, Carlac. Come with me. We need soldier. you on the team. Uh, come on, we're heading out. Aces. Yeah, oh, I have such a soft spot for her. She is just the sweetest. Oh, hopefully we can find something that will actually save her because I don't know what we're going to do otherwise. I'll be honest. Oh, Christ, we have a lot to read. We may as well get going with us. Attempts to displace the Knights of the Shield from their smuggling and contraband network has been more difficult than anticipated, and we face a shortfall in reaching our target quota in wrestling key clients from the Knights. 
our assumptions that we could pry business away from the knights by simply offering their clients a better percentage has proven naive. With fences and customs, runners routinely choosing loyalty to the knights over profit. Negotiations with prospective clients have proven so difficult that we now believe the knights exert some sort of influence over their partners beyond the profit motive. The indications are that they that the influence is psychic rather than magical, but further investigation is needed. With utmost respect, the black hand of loyalty. Okay, so we will steal that. Uh, it's the only way I'm going to be able to keep track of what I've read or not. Uh, so this is, I think, stalemate connection. As previously reported, the position of the Knights of the Shield as the lead in smuggling syndicate in Baldur's Gate is strong. Anonymously so. Generous bribery of key operative has elicited the information that the Knights are working hand in glove with member of the Council of Four, Duke Bellin Staleman. Though Staleman shows evidence of increase in debility due to some sort of wasting disease, her influence over transfer of contraband in the, sit in the gate has only grown as her physical abilities have declined. Solving this enigma should give us the key to bringing down the knight's investigations continue. So this is to do with... It's the Emperor, so you know they're even saying, you know, we think it's like psychic that they're not giving up on it. I'm going to assume it was the Emperor who was psychically controlling them all to his own end. The huge, basically. A report for Lord Gartash by Scribe Yantus. An illicit elder brain is many things. Absolute ruler of its mind player colony, front of procreation through its production of illicit larva, the so-called tadpoles. But most of all, the elder brain is a supreme powerful organic calculator, a mental machine able to process a vast number of simultaneous thought processes. It is almost a hundred moves ahead and cannot be surprised except by sudden confluence of unexpected variables. Mortal genius and innovations are no match for sheer computational power. Below this, a, a note is appended in Gortash's precise handwriting. No, weakest, no weaknesses but the unexpected. It seems I still need unexpected allies. That might be us um, that they're talking about with the unexpected allies. I do think there's obviously some big twist still coming in this. The portfolio notebook is stuffed with pages after pages, diagrams and schematics, recognisable as, oh, I think. Um, maybe we haven't. I thought I've read this before. Gandhi in design for magical enhanced mechanisms, but amended and expanded by notes in Gortash's precise handwriting with emendations such as infernal hellfire power source. Carlock. Elated synapse cable wiring and they even get Yankee image projection. Hmm. Okay. Particularly striking is a diagram of giant seal watchers variant with a note in Gortash's hand. Weight in supportable. Cut the mass. Okay. Let us see. And then we do have Baldur's Gate, Temple of Baal. A report for Lord Gortash by Scribe Yantus. Your humble servant must report a failure in his assigned task of determining the location of Baal's temple. Its location is known in a general sense. It is in the haunted, tumbled down subterranean complex usually called the Undercity Ruins. But though these ruins are said to be accessible from Baldur's Gate's sprawling sewer system, Accounts differ on the location of this access point. Even if one could find a way into the ruins, there are extensive... Oh, they are extensive and the temple's location within them is no longer certain. The temple was last active during the time of Ballas leader Savarok over a century ago and it is said to have fallen into disuse after his passing. I shall report to the disciplinarians to expedite my... Here. <laughs> so he's getting his own uh, punishment sorted. That guy sounds like employee of the month, doesn't he? I think yeah, we got everything off of Gortash already. 
Stuffed wolf's head. Yeah, I wonder what they're all about. You know, you can attack them anyway. They have hell points. We'll stock up on our fruit because we are so healthy and so druidy. Purple grapes. Yeah, let's steal it all while we're here. I mean, he's not going to need them anymore, is he? Opulent chest. That might be worth a look. What is it? Oh. Valley with Hidden Brook. Very interesting. So we will... Oh, we had the key. Brilliant. Okay. Hi, on number five. Supreme. Shield Steward Interrogation Log. Transcript of key passages in the interrogation of Flavius Nudge, Steward of the Knights of the Shield Hall. Black Hand, when did you begin to suspect that Duke's stale maiden was not herself? Nudge, I cleared her dinner dishes after a meal of mutton pie, but when I got the dish up to the kitchen, mutton was brains. Black Hand, brains? Nudge, and not she brains neither, so I started poking around. Uh, Black Hand, in the Elf Song cellar? In the Knight's secret chamber, yes, and I found a cell with a body in it, a corpse in city prisoner's stripes. Black Hand, a dead state prisoner? Nudge, if I tell you about this, you're going to let me go, right? Black Hand, right. Nudge, it was a condemned criminal with the top of their head shattered and the brain mostly gone. Black Hand, in Stalemane's room? Nudge, the secret part, yes, that's where she found me. Black Hand, she what? Nudge, she found me. It found me. At first I thought she was blue and floating, but then it was just Staleman. She smiled. I don't remember anything after that. Hmm. Yet again, going to go to that is the Emperor, of course. Maybe he had, like, convinced them or put it into their brain that it was Staleman when it really wasn't. And, you know, it was actually him. Which would not surprise me. Like, he is... Excuse Gord, he is definitely going to try to kill us at some stage. Like, I am under no illusion from that. Oh, read this. Uh, accelerated grand design, the key points. As top leaders in the Bay Knight hierarchy, to effectively implement what the Mad Ahun, known as the Blue Ape Pax, named the accelerated grand design, it's important that you understand its broad outlines. Don't worry about the details, leave those to me. The central element of this plan is that our dominant elder brain lays illicit tadpoles that induce a state of suspended sephromorphosis in which the host does not transform into a mind flayer. Instead, the tadpoles become psychic minions of the hive mind of the elder brain, which they perceive as a goddess, a deity of conquest called the Absolute. This Absolute, however, obeys the commands of the Chosen of the Dead Tree, and needless to say... As Bane is the god of tyranny, our allies who worship Baal and Merkel must, in the end, defer to us. So just some more kind of back things. Can we have a look out? I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Yeah, tales of hell. Uh, the founding of Baldur's Gate. Oh, we might have a quick read. Favoured, but there wasn't much. Yeah. Fields. I was thinking it might have actually had something stuffed the there. Young cave bear, killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. Vulnerable patriarchs. I think didn't we read this already, or it was downstairs maybe? Duke, uh, da, 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 Lord. Yeah, no one we kind of notice, or no one that we know. So yes, I did look up kind of a list of where Dribbles was because I don't think I would have ever been able to fully relax in life ever a game, if, ever a game, <laughs> ever again, <laughs> if I did not find where he went missing, basically. So that is what my next thing to try to do is to go try to find him. I uh, might take a couple of goals. I'm pretty sure I got most of him at this stage. I know we're missing, like, I think a hand. I don't know if we're still missing his feet. No, we found foot, right? So it's hand is the last thing. And luckily, it's actually very close to where we are. So 
We're gonna go back to... And it's riverting. There we go. Uh, I might guess one of the other ones to actually, you know what? Um, Astarian is our little talker anyway. So we may as well. Oi! Give that back! It's my special hand! Uh, what makes this hand so special? I just want to look at it. Here, take it. It's mine now. You got a problem with that? Let's go with one. I found it by the clown man's tent. Fought a rat for it and everything. <laughs> it's a, a one of a kind hand with artisanal bite marks. It's worth lots. Nope. Uh, deception, you know I can get this hand for much cheaper somewhere else. Give it to me now or I'll cut off your hand. I think I I think this belongs to Dribbles. Yeah, let's go with that. It is the truth. Fingers crossed that I do think we have... Yeah, very. Look, we don't even need to worry about it. <sighs> All right. Mama Lucretia says we family. Suppose that means Dribbles was too. Yeah. But don't tell nobodies I gave it to you for free. Got to protect my reputation as a tough business lord. Absolutely. <laughs> I do gonna have a soft spot for Cobalt. Um, in my own game. Well, one of my games I have. Oh, I was a fighter and I don't know how, but I ended up adopting a Cobalt. And he just kind of chills in my backpack. She is an Eldrin... I think that's an Aldrin or Eldrin elf as well, so her mood kind of changes with the season. So you roll like a d4 at the start of the game. Uh, spring is kind of like your party season, spring break. Uh, I think summer could actually be anger, which you wouldn't think. I can't remember the other ones. It's been quite a while since I played her. Uh, but yeah, she has a kobold. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Yes! I found him. Oh dear. Dribble's flesh is near torn asunder. Poor thing was most certainly alive when he was hacked up. Well, that just means this treasure hunt is all the more challenging. Toddle on, darling. There's more of Dribbles to find. What? I thought I had him all. Oh no. What are we what parts are we missing with Dribbles? <gasps> we just need one final piece. Oh my god. What is the final piece? So we have a hand. We got Dribble's severed hand. We found a severed hand in the circus. So we is that two? A leg, a foot, a head, a pelvis. Hmm. What is the last one? So leg. Arm? I'm pretty sure. Did we get arm? Oh, I'm not seeing arm there. Yee. No, I'm not seeing arm. Okay. Found. So the arm. We're going to have to go back to Sorcerer's Sundries, even though I was pretty sure we went into this place. Unavoidable. Well, that's not good. Ah. <gasps> What is going on? Oh my god. All right, never mind, lads. We're not cutting anywhere. You're staying with me. <laughs> oh, things are really going to start going down now, aren't they? Why is Halson looking so scared? Is is there... He looks terrified for some reason. Okay. So, we're going to kill them anyway. We're going to try not to... Nah. We'll try not to kill the other guys just for the moment. I don't particularly like them though, but might just run him over here. Do, 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 do. I kinda like how he runs. And that Carlac. Now where are the rest of them? Is is there one? Oh, there's one up here. Will she reach? She will. Oh, she has five rages, so uh, you know what? Actually, I'm not gonna waste her rage, because I have a feeling now things are about to go downhill fairly quick. And I think we should be okay. Yeah, crit hit. Very good. And let's just pummel for last. Yes, end that. Come on now, guys. You can 
surely take this one out. Ensnared. Yeah, there we go. Another one down. Based now. Poor Helsing. Yeah, looking terrified. Where is the... Oh, over here. Right, so... Let's move him over this way. Will we drag him closer to us? We may as well. Ah, oh, not enough movement speed. Okay, let's just ice knife him. Eh, didn't do great. We'll leave it for now. Tavi, my darling, up you come. Beside your boyfriend. And we are going to fire him now this time. Yeah, look at the realms. Let's go for it. 40. Oh, that was a nice one. Levitate over you come. You'd be hoping that'd be an act. Oh, it's that green. Oh my god. Jeez, they're kind of powerful then, aren't they? But we should kill it anyway, though. I mean, all of these lads now have their round to go. We haven't attacked them. Oh, okay. I don't know why she's saying that far back. I mean, maybe she's just protecting things. Let them go through there around. Then you come, boys. Okay, back to Astarian. Who... You know what, I may as well just move him up here. We're going to crouch, touch, and engage. And hopefully this should take your man out anyway. 32. Is breaking free. We must discover where it is hidden before that happens. Yeah, this is going to be the start of things going downhill rapidly from here. So this should hopefully be the last piece of dribbles. You mustn't. The city is full of criminals. Then look, we'll see. I might see about the zombie guy. I don't even care at this stage. In we pop. Very good. Another murdered person. So if we just Oh yeah, bloodied note. You've been picking where you shouldn't, Partree, placing the Lordlings fire spitters throughout my city. Disgusting. They leave no blood. There's no art to it at all, just burnt ash and corpse cinder. I walk through your basement here as I pen this. It's rather large, roomy. They'd never find all the bits of you if I spread them out here properly. See it again, I'm assuming that was Orin, just kind of came over and done what she does best. There is the list again from the hire to kill. Now, is there a hatch here? Oh yeah, look, the hatch is there, so locked. All right, Astari, come on, because I think the last of triples is here. But yeah, that should also be the last of the buildings that we haven't gotten into so far. Yeah, so I think literally all that's left is save the artist. Oh, longsword. Courageous little... Oh, what a mess. <gasps> yes! There we go. Uh, the effigy of Yagasar, who burnt his mortality. What use his heart? He taught himself a titan, but died whispering for his mother. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood. Orin the dead. I know, aren't great. A clown's arm, stained with grease paint and blood. We will take the heart. I don't know what else is going on here. Infernal contracts and bargains and offer. We'll read that. Oh yeah, dear Mr. Beertree, you come highly recommended by a select few. Not merely for your business acumen, but also for your ambition. That is why I'm writing to you. A question of ambition. I have in my possession a tremendous quality of infernal iron. Its acquisition is immaterial. What matters is this. I shall need assistance distributing the weapons forged for this exquisite iron. I shall need someone ambitious, someone with less than scrupulous connections, someone Mr. Peartree, like yourself. That Mr. Peartree was the carrot. I often find was an excellent bedfellow to the stick. I consider your position. A less than scrupulous set of connections doesn't just make you valuable to me, it would also make you invaluable to any member of Upstart City, Watchmen or Flaming Fist ready to make a rank. It would really be a terrible tragedy for such a bright potential to be extinguished in this way. I eagerly await your correspondence. 
Yours in fate, Invergortash. Well, Lishy, I think, you know, at this stage, we have kind of covered everywhere we can possibly go. So, you know, anything that we're reading now, yes, would have kind of linked us to maybe other... Um, what would you say, like, other quests and stuff? But we've kind of done it all now already anyway. What is that, I wonder? It's strange. Just a hook. Now he's getting encumbered as well. My gratitude. All right. Oh, you dear Mr. Beartree. Our business proceeds without fault and with lucrative profits. You will find a success reflected in the upcoming deposit to your personal account. Should you consider to be such a willing tool, I could see many more deposits of similar magnitude making their way into your coffers in the future. I saw you spent the last payment with exceptional wisdom. Your new abode in the lower city is rather lovely. Men of boat means and tastes are exceedingly rare these days, and I would be so distraught were you to lose this beautiful home to a terrible accident of fate. Discretion is a key pillar of continued home ownership after all. You need not respond in this letter. I will write if you are needed further. Yours in fate, Enver Gortash. So Josie was blackmailing obviously a lot of people around the place, which look, we kind of know that for him anyway. Now let's go back and hand in the Dribbles quest. And here we are. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding Dribbles? Yes. Oh, perfection. This is just what I need. His flesh has a few rat bites and his teeth are missing. But these are minor issues. I shall remake Dribbles better than before. Where once he was famous, he will now become legend. And you? Here, darling. A little something from your friend, Lucretius. My circus and I can now finally leave. Oh, it's a big circus. How are you going to get out of the city? You're leaving right now? It was a pleasure to meet you, Lucretius. You wouldn't happen to be hiring, would you? <laughs> Let's go for As much fun as you and I would have on the road, alas, no. I think we both know that you're destined for greater things. Oh, and if you do take on the absolute, do try not to end up like poor Dribbles. You are so very pretty after all. <laughs> Tabby liked that. Tabby was like, yes, thank you, I am. Uh, when casting a spell that requires an attack roll, you can take a 5% and deal additional... Mm, that's alright, it's not, um... It's not great. I kind of would have liked to have seen her actually bring Dribbles back. It doesn't look like we are going to. Now, I did maybe kind of figure out where Trumbo might be. He's going to be our next one to go to. We were so very close to Trumbo. I'm sure people watching the last one was like, oh my god, just go back and look again. We were so very close. And the last thing then, right, after we get kind of that free and the artist thing done, I might actually just pay the money as well to find out what your man wanted to tell me. Um, We might go to the bank one last time. We have lots of things to find there. See, now I'm kind of like, do we just start robbing everything? <laughs> you know, because we know what's coming next. So it is kind of like, oh, do we get all of this done now? Oh, actually... Isn't this the gazette? Let's go in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck your man up. Basically, he's he well pissed me off at what he tried to do to our girl. I'm sure this is gonna go extremely well, but I don't care. I hope he's dead. We're definitely gonna go in and like just start melting off at him anyway. Cause he was like working with Gortash the entire time. Tempers are rising. Find out everything is at your disposal. Is there another way I can get in? Doesn't seem so, but I am... Now... What's the word? I am... 
oh well you know like i am now destined to do it do you know that kind of way but i bother let's see what goes up here where does that even go it's just to get to high ground oh yeah look there's a ladder i mean how is there any way to jump up i know there's lots of ways you can like kind of parkour around things i do get that as well right he's safe for the moment i'll leave him for the moment We'll go down and we're going to see, can we find Trumbo instead? And I'll decide what I'll do about him. Okay, so I'm after finding like another, this is just another house that I clearly kind of never went into. Yeah, I never actually really went around this way at all. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I never went around this way. Definitely don't think I went down this hatch. Oh my goodness. Lots of letters. Campaign letters. Letters from... Oh, I don't think I'll be able to read all of them, I'll be honest. Guildmaster, I hope I, I hope you remember me. I know you when you were still little, Estelle. I helped your parents search for you in those dark days when you are missing and celebrated when they found you. These new guild rates are strangling business. I sought an audience with the busser already. He tells me it's wartime. Um... And the city needs a well-provisioned guild. I tell him and you that the city will need its cobblers when all of it is done. Please don't forget where you came from. So just quite a lot there. I really don't know what this is. Upcoming knife fight. Mm. I'm assuming it's just... Um, how would you say it, you know? Click. Oh, over this way. Right. Just possibly more stuff for us to pick up, but I at the same time... Okay. Someone doesn't like visitors. Lovely. Alright, okay. <laughs> That's that gone. <laughs> Alright. Back up. Um, I thought he might be in here. Let's see. But he's not. It's fine. We'll go back up yet again. I don't think this was really much. It was just possibly when we were doing all our main quests going to give us insight into what was actually happening around the place i don't know why tavi just ran up there will we speak to these i don't think we spoke to any of these actually this ain't a public rooftop it's mine so piss off all right a bit random we'll go down and speak to this one who let you through that's grunt. Bloody idiot. Maybe this, these are just the guild people, are they? If I were you, I'd... Yeah, possibly. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything else much of interest around here. Yes, well, at the same time, I don't think we went in this door either, did we? What is going on in there? Whole place kind of fell down. All right. Yeah, that's very strange. We'll talk to this one. Don't call me runt. Oi, mess with us, and that'll be the last thing I'll do. I mean, you do. Shit! That's the new guy, obviously. <laughs> Tried his best, though. Okay, so these are all guild members. That is fine. We will climb down here. I think it could be in this place that he is in for some reason i was thinking yet yeah, i sorry did want to come with us for a second is it in here there we go what what are you doing in here the man's stench is unmistakable death decay despair this must be thrombo the runaway mystic carrion was so eager for you to retrieve. This is my spot. Go on, find your own. I came to find you. Mistress Carrion was very keen to bring you home. Hello, Trumbo. Mistress Carrion told me all about you. Uh, let's go with two. Mystic Carrion? You're working for him? Oh, no. No, no. I knew he wouldn't let us leave in peace. You don't have to help him. 
He's the one you should be after, not me. Why? I don't think so. He offered a generous price for bringing me back. How did you end up working for him? Let's go with why. You've met him. How can you need more justification than that? He, he, he murdered me. Murdered my friends. Snatched us right up from the dark side and, and made us these, these things. Monsters. Fit for cutting and, and grinding and, and desecrating the dead. He constantly abuses us. Makes us do the, the worst things you can imagine. There used to be five of us. My friend Dallas, he couldn't take it anymore. One day, I saw him drive a coffin nail right through Carrion's skull. Then another, and another. We thought he had done it. Freed us all. Then when dawn came, Talus seized up suddenly like something had got a grip of him. We ran to help, but he just exploded. I got so much blood and, and pulp in my eyes. When I looked back, Carrion was just stood there, completely unharmed. That's horrible. All right, I'll help you. What can I do? Do you know how Carrion brought himself back? Yeah, let's ask that. If I knew that, I'd have tried to kill him myself. I know this is going to sound strange, but I've been watching him, trying to figure it out, and... I think he's a mummy lord. And the mummy lord is? What makes you think that? He does seem rather keen on bandages. Don't be ridiculous, mummy lords. Our legends are not more. I'm going to go with two. It's an ancient evil being who refused to die. Who cannot die. I used to hear about them in stories and... I can't think of another explanation. After Talus died... Carrion blindfolded me and took me into a strange place. A foul and ancient place. Somewhere the living wouldn't dare to tread. Down there, he showed me a jar. Said it contained the secret to eternal life. And if I behaved, he would share it with me. I, th I think it was his heart. I'm not stupid. I know what he did to my friend. Gods, how I'd love to smash that bastard jar. That's how you kill mummy lords, you know. Good to know. I already found his lair. The jar you saw, he hid it inside your... <gasps> he hid it inside his body. Oh my goodness. What? His rotten heart was inside of me this whole time. <sighs> get it out. I have to get it out. Oh my god. No matter. This is still the safest place to hide. It's just bad luck I was discovered. I must be patient. My brothers need me. Oh. Well, we're definitely gonna destroy him. Found it. We must destroy it if we are to kill him for good. How do I do that then? Do we go and... S like, how do I destroy it? Oh, should I have done that? Okay. We're gonna F5. But ashes left of that jar now. Let's talk to him. That's slimy. Please take that foul thing. I destroyed it. it. You, you did. Then what are you waiting for? You, you must destroy the rest of him. Put that monster in the grave where he belongs. I don't remember ever reading about like how he had actually. Uh, you know, put that inside him. Obviously, I read it somewhere. I just literally have no memory of it. Right, up we go. Where is his place though now? Is he in there? Maybe? Or is it okay? Yeah, maybe. Oh. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be too happy with us. I, 
possibly should have. <laughs> I possibly should have actually listened to what he had to say to me first before I done this. But you know what? We've done it now. We may as well go in. This dad is definitely going to attack us. Oh yeah. Did think that might happen alright. Okay, Astarian. Let's just start and I suppose get it over with. Okay, his range actually does more. Very nice, we will end that. Oh, it's go time. Or Karlak, will she be able to get around Tabby? She did, I'm very surprised. We will rage her for this one. Because I would imagine the mummy lord himself is not going to be as easy for us to Watch kill. This. Okay, that might look, yeah. I don't think he's gonna be particularly hard either. Enemies afoot. Uh, but he is very kind of magic based. Come on, in you come. And we're going to do, will we do Locust Plague? I don't want to destroy all the stuff though, in case I want it though. Uh, no point doing... I might just do Cold Lightning on him. Ooh, uh, look, it done something I suppose. Didn't we go? Any point in wild shaping him? Probably not. And now it's just onto Tabby and we are going to just... Because I'm sure Radiant, he should not like Radiant damage at all. But let them now all just get their <laughs> bits kind of done. Okay, we are back to top of the round again. Now, I hope, I wonder, can I hide? Because, yeah, he's close to his friends. We have bleeding there. We will get Karlak to take them out, I suppose. Yeah, 20. Go again. And she should get a pummel then for... She won't, it won't be enough to, yeah, it wouldn't be enough to kill. I, should I wild shape him? You know what, let's do it, no harm. And we can still attack, so I'm happy about that. We'll, oh, disadvantage. We'll go for it anyway. It's possibly because there's two, oh, quite close together. And again. He still has... Oh, I don't need to still have his multi-attack. He doesn't. We'll just move him... Um, Just enough that he's not going to get an opportunity attack, but that we have him moved around, and we're just going to put it straight back down on top of him. And we will end that. I don't know what mummy rot is, but I can't imagine it is too good. So these all promote opportunity attacks. Trying to see, can I get any way around? I cannot. Um, if he stands here, well, do it he might be able to see and hit. Yes, he could. Very good. We will move him in. I don't think we're going to get to a second round with him. But at least if we do, we have him in so he might get, you know, the advantage of being in with his crew. And that... Uh, oh, they took some damage off um, Halston, didn't they? He will get all his attacks, though. Let's see, will he be able to kill them? I doubt it, but he does some good damage, though. That cave bear is a lovely one. Back to our dear Tavi. We're just slowly whistling this guy down. Slowly, slowly, because at least when we get through the rest of these now, we should be up to him. Not much left with them now. How many is there? There's four, including him. I thought that one was dead. Critted? Yeah. I don't know if it's something to do with him being... I don't know, like a druid or something? I don't know why they were hitting him so hard. Okay, so... He will not be... It cannot be... We'll still move him around, yeah. It's worth it, isn't it? Just to see if we can... Oh, I must have... Okay. We'll go for this one, so... And... Up. You are. There we go. Let's bring her over to him. Just get rid of him, too. 
At least now he shouldn't be able to come back. And last but not least. Oh, few alright. Fucking hell, the city's changed. Oh yeah, we're all kind of the poisonous gas. Uh, we will get rid, as always, of the moonbeam, because haven't we learned our lessons before with that? No traps, please. Over we hopefully can't get there. What is going on? Oh! Oh! He did it. He's gone. He's really gone. I don't know how to thank you. We can finally be free. Here. Please take this. I think it's valuable. And I will need it. Not now Carrion's gone. Uh, I am trying to help him. He's been possessed. I don't know how to do exorcisms yet. But feel free to look through Carrion's records. Perhaps you'll find something of use there. It also would not let me move. Yes. I think I'll pick up where Carrion left off. A city like this needs a medium. Yeah, it, it just kept... Kept going. Um, and I think when I get back, like... You look, Halston is down, like... Oh my god, here we go. Yeah, whatever. It's whatever this rotten cloud is, you know? Because we were waiting for them to come in. It just, it would not let us move. Oh, weird gains. Necrotic. Oh, that might be. I was gonna say that might be nice for Shadowheart. That is up to the weirders. Okay. I think we're going to equip that to Tavi. Let the de undead blanch with fear. Undead have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. <laughs> you have attack on saving throws. You know what? I think we'll put that onto Tavi as well. That's actually a handy one to have. Creatures have disadvantage against your necromancy spells. Take all that. Uncumbered, of course. Now, I must see. I mean, obviously, there must be necromancer kind of classes you can be in this. I know with the druids, there is um, the circle of spores. And that would be seen as... Well, it's not seen. I'm pretty sure it's like kind of necromancy. The best way I always think to describe it is, you know, the um, the ants. There is ants that like some fungus, it's like a parasite fungus takes over their brain and it controls their bodies. That's what the spores one actually does. So it's exactly like that. So with that, that's what the circle of spores and this does. It's like those... What kind of parasitic fungus I think it is that just takes them over. A scroll of blindness. Now to find where his stuff is, I mean gilded chest to be assuming an acquisition records, hopefully something to do with Oh Dala the Necromancer. Okay, torch of items to be acquired. Up below is a musty list of item use client and location. Torch of Recovations. Burn and tormented spirit anchor. Is that in here? Did I pick it up already? Or where is it? Let us see. Free the artist. We got our hands. Oh yeah. We can use it to destroy. Oh yes. Very good. So we get that. I'm glad now that we got to help these guys. I did not want your man to win anyway Once the house is back in. <laughs> we will go upstairs see if there's anything up here we didn't go the last time i can't remember if we were stopped from going upstairs it was locked so this time i mean look we may as well go in for a little nosy while we're here see what is inside just in case there's anything else good for us to steal and then we'll go over and help oscar oh Hello. I've got a long road ahead. You didn't hear anything that, that just trance. happened, I'm assuming. Time to rest. Yep, yeah, alright, okay, you do you do you, boo. That's alright. Please understand. 
Please, Father Karen, I beg of you. I just need a little more time to earn back enough to pay your fee. My house is ransacked. I have nothing left. I can hardly put food on the table. And then we have Evil Evil Evil. Sounds like a band name or a song name. Father Karen Myers. You're nothing but a scam artist. They say you're a necessary evil if you want to talk to our loved ones, but I say you're just plain evil. As soon as I have evidence enough to report you, you can expect a visit from the fist. Better yet, the steel watch. And that's just gonna go... Oh no, it's into another room. It is locked. Ah, he has a third floor as well. Oh, he wrote me as well. Okay. Well, we're going through it all anyway. I can't imagine that will be... Oh my goodness. Ugh. Lovely. Well, hello, beautiful. <sighs> if only it was fresh. Yeah, he would like that, or I wouldn't. He? Jesus. The spray's oh, soul coin. I surprised. Yeah, where do we have the soul coins? Now I did know. Um, our girl Carla had said at one stage that she was like, oh, you know, I can like eat them, I think, or do something, and. What is around here? And a hatch ten. Oh wow. We weren't down here, were we? No, we definitely couldn't have been down here. I think I would have remembered all I'll this. Take that. I'm assuming maybe if we had helped Light him he would have brought us down here. Oh no. Yes. Sorry. Didn't mean to talk to you. Let's pick this up. A mummy's memories. Some mortals might wonder why a mummy lord would abandon a subterranean crypt where he had abided for several human lifetimes, safely conducting delicate experiments into the very nature of life and its so-called opposite death, and trade all of that for a perilous existence in a ramshackle waterfront house in the cesspit of Baldur's Gate. Some mortals might be morons. An entity of erudition and taste must naturally have a keen appreciation for what the surf's world has to offer. The lilt of music and the lyricism of poetry, the cry of seagulls over grey harbour at sunset, the touch of a soft non-decayed hand. You don't need a nose to savour a fine wine. All of these things and more I have earned through my dedication to eso esoteric studies and but all of these things as well as rare alchemy ingredients, almix and antanars cost money. A lot of it. Just my new career as a highly priced and exclusive mystic consultant to the wealthy of Upper City. I have needs and they will not be denied. A secret lair in the Undercity ruins. What was Carrion doing there? Well, clearly doing experiments. Oh, is this going to bring us out to... Hmm. What's that? We can't... Can we get out this way? <laughs> Not a chance I'll fit in there. Yeah, we kind of know what happens with all these things, though. I mean, I will. I can wild shape her, but... It'll probably just be like it's another way in here. <laughs> We'll see, though. We'll see. We'll send her on true. Cat Tavi is back! Our favourite Cat Tavi. Yeah, I did think it would just bring us back outside. It was just another way in. Can't use this right now. That is great. Oh, handy. Okay. Oh, look, that was in plain sight, wasn't it? We never even realised that was there. How interesting. Okay, let's group them together. We may as well keep Cat Tavi for a while. She's so pretty, isn't she? She's gorgeous. I'll give it a shot. Can Cat Tavi climb a ladder? She can. Not a bother on her. Right, we are gonna go over and save the artist again. The portrait is ice cold to the touch, filling you with a sense of overwhelming dread. So why is the woman smiling? Yeah, why indeed. Now let us see, where is the torch? Oh. Maybe we don't have it, do we? 
Oh yeah, no, that's it, isn't it? We're gonna equip that to Tavi. And just attack it. There we go. Oscar. Where is he? Where is he? Is she gonna fight us? Or is she just gonna go down and find him? Harrowed, whatever that means. I'd say we'll go down and try to stop Ghost Lady from kicking the arse off of Oscar. I'm assuming she is a spited ex-lover, if I had to guess. Oh yeah, there she is. Let us go. Has she killed him? Oh no, did she kill her? No, she's still alive. She's just unconscious. Echoes of lost love. That's that why he's awake anyway. Who are you? Get out! Get out! Please, Carrie, my darling, listen to me. You brought me here. You did this. Do not interfere! He's coming home with me! You're dead, girl. Calm yourself, Shade. We can resolve this peacefully. To the realm of the dead, you'll kill him. I rather like interfering. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> uh, let's, just, let's go with one. Another one who wants to control me. He called me here. Trapped me. Pathetic little childish boy. I only wished to explain myself, to make you see how- No! Enough of your whining! Enough! Selfish, arrogant bastard of an artist! I wanted to be left in peace! Please tell us what happened to you. You don't seem all that peaceful. He won't disturb you again, I'll make sure it. Mr. Carrion was the one behind us and wasn't- Oh, let's, let's go with one. And how does that help me? Or is it just to help him? Why does everything always have to revolve around Oscar Beverus? Oh, my sweet Carrie. What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal plane. Through intimidation, torture him and you'll face nature. Fury, you'll face me. I don't care if your spirit touch him and I'll break you persuasion. The Carrie Oscar spoke of was kind of gentle. This isn't the real you. We have a druid option. We go with the druid option. Let's go for it. I don't think she's going to be too happy with it, but let's see. What are you saying? You're trying to confuse me. It's so hard to think. I don't remember. Kerry, my sweet meat. I, I just need to know that what you did, that it wasn't my fault. Why am I here? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be. The spirit's aura flickers, changes. She is confused, lost, dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. Okay, we don't have a druid again. You came to deliver us a message to tell us what led to your fate. You owe Oscar an explanation and you're going to give it to him. Persuasion, no more harm will come to you by sharing your story, but it could help him. You ask her nothing. He only brought you here to soup his conscience. Your bonds are broken. Go. Let's go with persuasion because, yeah, look, I don't particularly like him either, but I'm kind of interested just to see. Fine. If Oscar wants the truth, he can have it. We were a fling, nothing more. My decision had nothing to do with him. I did this because I was so fucking sad. All the time. Oscar finds it easier to imagine a world where women kill themselves over him than one where they have their own bloody problems. I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea. But I, I was truly not to blame. No, you weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me. We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Gods, what a mess I've made of it all. My sweet Ferelia. I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. 
It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you'd come to me sooner. Well, what do you do now? That's it, you're just going to forgive him? At least you have a great story, story to tell the grandchildren. What a touching reunion. Now about my payment. <laughs> Let's go with one. I, I'd like to stay. I, I confess I never felt ours was a marriage of substance. I rather thought you just liked me for my art. Throughout my ordeal, I saw how tenderly you cared for me. Even at my worst, you never left my side. Truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm so sorry, my darling. Excuse you, I'm the one. Yeah! <laughs> yes, go with that. But of course, I'm a man of my word. And the word was compensation. Come upstairs to my atelier. I promise you'll leave with something priceless. Immortality. Oh, he's gonna pay me, is he? Pay me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Does a Debbie look, look at her? She's like the Statue of Liberty going around the place with that. Right, up we go. And we see he's possibly gonna try to kill us. And I will smash his face in with my new Statue of Liberty lamp if he tries to do it. Uh, but if not, we might get a nice painting done. Which I really do hope is like the Titanic one. Yep, I'd pay good money to see that. Up we go. We're just so excited. We want to get up there ahead of him. But that's also because we have a bank to break into as well. Oh, wait till he finds out that we robbed everything on him already. I think we did, did we? Maybe we couldn't get into that. Sorry, go on. I know we're kind of blocking your way. We'll move over here. Is he going to keep walking? No, do I just talk to him? Here she is, the hero of the hour. Brushes are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, shall we begin? Yes. <laughs> Actually, no, you know what? She's saying I need to freshen up. I kind of like that under. Yes, let's do it. Wonderful. Stand yourself just there. And... And voila! <sighs> All it needs now is a name. Something to capture the spirit in which it was created. Oh, the mighty defenders of art, the ghost whispers. I've heard of my name weren't on it. Call it whatever you want, I'm going to sell it. Uh, yeah, let's not overcomplicate Let's not overcomplicate things. Portrait of an adventurer is fine. A very traditional choice. Perfect for such a dignified hero as yourself. Please, take it in for a moment. It's not every day one's face is preserved for posterity. <laughs> Almost as good as your real form. Where is it? I like the maid with a duster. How come I can't see it? I even received the heroes of Baldur's Gate. Right, let's go to latest. And what do I do now? Oh, do we just examine? Oh my god, why can't I see it? Did <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, why can't I see it? That is so... Don't tell me that they do it like this, that you can't actually see it. What if I drop it? Where did I... Oh! Oh! Oh, look at it. Oh, look, it's just her portrait. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Oh, that's kind of nice. There's something for us to remember it all by. Uh, will we talk to him one last time before we go? Truly, my. Yeah, he has nothing else to say. Right, so last thing, I mean, really, we have to do around here is. The bank is kind of really the last thing. We got him quite a lot of keys from going through other people's stuff. In a non bad way. Now, look, I do understand there is possibly plenty I'm missing. I know there's little things like uh, where the bitch queen, the sea queen's, um, her whole area, you know, there was a section we couldn't get into. Completely understand that. There's the whole section behind the bank as well. 
get that too. Your girl is excited to see what's going to happen next. So I kind of just want to push on with things. We won't stay too long. I mean, I don't even really want to do this bank thing, I'll be honest. But we may as well because we kind of started. It'll be a quick one. I'll go down to the counting house area and we'll just see if there's anything. And then we'll get a move on. Okay, so very good. Um, If you hit, see these here? buttons on the wall with an arrow? That's what uh, will stop it from actually working. It doesn't throw you back, so that's handy. It gave me, you know, from the lever the last time. That's just what, you know, I was like, that's what I'll do. So I actually, I need to figure out in the next room as well, though, how to get in past kind of the gates. There has to be another way in with that. Oh, artist. Okay. Gold, 495. We will take that. We've been so bad at spending our gold, though, haven't we? Well, I say we. I'm just a bit of a hoarder like that anyway. I told we had got one for number five. 35. Love to see it. In we go. Oh, very well kept. Just drinks. Okay. And, oh yeah, number two. I just see yeah, I'm going to keep trying them the first time in case we do actually have a key. Let's face it. Do you think I remember what ones I have keys for and what ones I don't? There is not a hope. Oh yeah, take all that. Scroll. Scroll of disintegration. Opulent chest. Yeah, we already got that one. Watch your back. Now in here, yeah, this is... This one was like kind of confusing me. So yet again, I know we can misty step. That is a bonus action by short rest. I still do have a short rest left. So in we go. I don't know if I... Yeah, very good. I'm not going to bother going everywhere either. Because I couldn't be arsed at this stage. Yeah, very good. Continue. Next thing is... Oh my god. I think we'll just go down. Oh. Oh yes. Let's. I love the purple. And I'll pick this. I know we can go into the room where the bank fella was. Oh, nice. I mean, we might do. I also don't know if I'm that arsed either. We'll see, we'll see. Because now I'm going to have to short rest. Well, you know what? Tabby could actually do with getting the health back anyway. Oh, I thought he locked himself in for a second. <laughs> uh, Kenny, he can't walk through that. I did think it might be like something that he could actually just walk through it. I will... Yeah, Missy, step him out here. Tabby did need some healing. I would be imagining we can still go back and long rest and things. So, I'm not too worried about that side of things, which is always a go? famous last words. Uh, but down here we go. Down to where, and I'm assuming the bank teller fella is still there, or the bank manager. But we did get a good few keys, so we may as well see. Without breaking in, because I could not be arsed. I don't think I got any keys for the high security vaults. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Enchanted security at that. Interesting. Okay, so we had one for the high security vault for that. That could have been Gortash's one or something. We'll have a look up. I feel like we got one for seven as well. No, it must have been the other seven. Uh, journal. Oh, yes, that is possibly Gortash's one. He loved uh, the patriarchs and blackmailing them. We'll go back actually and get that now in a second. I, I just assumed it wouldn't have opened. A farter's diary. Uh, oh, this is a worn and much handled journal which Ulder uh, Ravenguard recorded his favourite memories of his beloved son, Will. Oh. I spent the afternoon with Will on the docks down by the Water Queen's house, relaxing on the plank stow. The harbour fog swallowed the sun as usual. Will asked if the temple's water servants were real mermaids, and I told him they certainly looked the part, but real mermaids could breathe underwater and rarely showed their face above it. 
Then I'm going to swim down and catch one, he shouted, and dove off the end of the dock. He kept trying to hold his breath and stay under the surface, but eventually he got exhausted and I had to haul him out, minus his new shoes, alas. But I'll never forget his smile when he said, I saw one farther, I saw a mermaid, a real one. Then his eyes grew misty and he added, she was beautiful. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Okay, right, sweetness is done. Let's get going, let's get this done. Let's go find his elder brain and show him what's what. Oh no, we forgot Astarian. <laughs> oh, Astarian. Oh, he was like still in there anyway. Um, in there, just join us, good lads. There you are. We will regroup. Is that blood? No. No, never mind. If I remembered correctly, remember we Should found the rats with like the head devices on them, like the thinking caps. Oh uh, yeah, this is gonna be so interesting. I'm gonna have five to see how this goes. Now, do I think we're gonna get straight into battling the elder brain? No, I do not. Famous last words. Uh, but I don't. I don't. I think there is gonna be like some twist, or there's gonna be some turn. Don't think we'll be getting into it straight away. Uh, but who knows? I suppose we're going to find out quick enough. Because that is the way we're going. Now, if I can remember how to get there. Yeah, it's off this way. Oh, yeah. Okay, so around here. It's a bit... Well, I was going to say it's a bit like a maze. I'm pretty sure that's what they wanted it to be, was a maze. I do think we're going to be fighting the Emperor at some stage as well. I don't think he's not going to try to kill us. I'm pretty sure once his use with us is done, he'll be straight on to trying to kill us. Uh, but we might be able to take him. Who knows? Yeah, here are the Cranium Rats. So, will we try to talk to one of them? Should go well. Okay. We'll put speak with animals on. I have a feeling they're possibly just gonna say the same thing. I wonder why I wonder why yeah uh, it's rats that like they go for. <gasps> Evading the elder brain. The Emperor has interrogated Uh How did you escape the country? Oh yeah, no no no, so I already read this one, remember? So we already have that one red. Is it this? Oh, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> you no longer to access. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. So this will be like our actual party. Right, let's long rest. I'm quite happy with my party, even though, you know what, I think I'm going to get Shadowheart. For the last. Yeah, I think Shadowheart is going to be part of our party. Oh my god, the excitement. Now look, I can go there. I can always come back anyway. <sighs> um, Yeah, we'll see. But yes, what I think we'll do is... I think we'll do that in the next episode! Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm doing one of those cliffhangers, but I'm also looking at the time that I've been recorded for, and it's like, do I really want to start in on this now in this episode? And no, I do not. I want to give this some proper time, some proper thought. So, we're going to leave this one here, but in the next one... Oh my god, we're going on the boat, and we're going to go find the elder brain and show it what's what. But it will probably just kill us instead. But we're going to give it a try anyway. If you like this video, maybe give it a like. And if you'd like to see future videos by me, maybe give it a subscribe as well. As always, I'm going to have a playlist here with the rest of Tabby's journey to date, which I think is coming close to an end. And I don't know what I'll do what it is. Oh, but yes, if you would like to see your journey from the start, I will have that there for you to watch. And as always, I just thank you so much for stopping by and watching this and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.